What's up guys, it's Ash here. Yeah, I'm the new face here and I'll be discussing on the latest, fast as might be, but the accurate news on the tech world that cherishes around us. I'll not be screwing anyone's head or crack something new. I'll be just sharing my reviews on the salt and sweet of the device and give a personal rating towards it at the end of the video. That said, let's move on to our video. Let's talk about the new talking tower, the S9. Sorry, the S9 Plus. Guys, let's just focus on the plus because it feels like a worthy upgrade to S8 or the normal S9 which may or may not even be noticed at all. It doesn't have a big difference to be frank on all the button placements and the slots are in the same place and I don't shout in pride that I have an headphone jack now. The only real difference is the addition of dual cameras and the change in biometric location. Yeah, it has a new heart rate sensor now which is of zero use at least in my case. An addition of stereo speakers, well, it just kills every other competitor who has an stereo speaker. When we head on to the box, it's just the same old box with an addition of a clear case. I love the manufacturers who had more and more in the box itself. Well, we find all old stuffs in the box with addition to the AKG of Hoons in it. But the real thing that changes it's, yeah, believe me, the new display. Though it's not a big difference, its brightness levels is way better when compared to all others with whites well balanced. Obviously all apps and stuffs run smoothly, but that just doesn't make it a standalone phone cause come on, the difference is in seconds. Yeah, Bixby. Actually I have a mixed feelings with it. Well it handles in phone stuffs very well and having Google Assistant with it makes it a perfect and well balanced AI system in any other phones. When you just move on to settings, you don't feel much of a difference. Yeah, though I didn't expect any big difference going on there. Uh, the project Dribble just took me out of trouble of slowest Android updates which I was frustrated with all other Samsung phones. I am using it from the launch day and I already had 3 updates or so. In addition to that, you have Dolby Atmos which boots up very well with those perfect stereo speakers. And do you remember those days of weird biometric locations in S8? Well, the trend actually continues. But the face scan or whatever it is, it's much safer and better when compared to all other competitors. Because there's a chance that twins can have the same face but not the same iris. Well, let's head on to the basics of the phone that is called and it handles pretty much same or better. I didn't feel any hiccups or better noise cancellations though, but I didn't feel it didn't lag behind. Yeah, moving on to performance, it has 6 gigs of RAM and Snapdragon 845. Only this upgrade of 6 gigs of RAMs made me much better reason to buy this against S9. Obviously, PUBG is the best game I ever played in the phone. It handles pretty much well. Awesome even. Well, I didn't use a headphone jack for the first time because those stereo speakers just makes it way better. Addition to that, the display and the aesthetics with no notch made me play even more. I could track better with those saturated look compared to my Pixel or the iPhone 10. As colors just pops up, well, I felt cherished when I could find first before someone see me. That's what PUBG is all about. And the battery handles good, but it's not the best. I played it for 4 hours continuous with Discord in use, it had just 2% left. But that's not new, come on, we felt the same in S8 also. But all that makes sense is the new camera. That's way better to S8, even the apps feels good. The pics you get are satisfied, with perfect saturation or more saturation you feel. Seriously Samsung, you could have copied Pixel 2's portrait cause it just kills the quality and edge detection is not so good. Yeah, let's move on to the front camera. Yeah, front camera is obviously shit like the old. Even though all beauty effects were off, it made me much smoother and fairer which obviously I'm not. I love the camera which clicks my pics flat. AR emoji or no emoji would be better because Snapchat handles the same old thing. 
look at me it's not even close to me selfie focus seriously i would just go to snapchat and select focus to me things change on the pro mode now the two aperture obviously it's not a much of a difference because you can do the same after effect also but all the options it delivers makes it to use it more but the video mode in this is the best i have ever seen it offers 4k 30 frames 60 frames and 1080p and 720p the colors looks very eye catching a bit over saturated but it's what all needed for a vlog i felt that if pro mode was added with the capabilities of shooting raw files would have been a brilliant choice the stabilization was excellent but didn't beat the pixel but it maintained a well very stable shots even in the windy and wavy ride either the focus didn't shift or the white balance everything was shot by a single touch well the only difficulty i feel is that the video starts by a single click without any transition from the photo mode hence it creates a delayed start you may skip one or two seconds also you don't want to have a steady hand to create a perfect video in this phone cause the dual pixel auto focus with that stabilization makes everything for you the end results make it much better impression though having a mess focus it doesn't feel like lost let's talk about the water resistance in s9 s9 retains ip68 water resistance which provokes us to shoot more underwater there is no hiccups while using underwater or so and it doesn't changes focus or aperture and it gives a smooth transition i used it while watching the coral reef also and obviously i was scared of losing it the only thing i was concerned about it if it had a uh, better accessories or so it would have replaced the gopro actually well this phone offers you a super slow motion which is 960 frames per second the app to record is frustrating at the start but once you get it it's perfect the only problem is it it shoots at 720 pixels that means it has a problem with the low light this is a mid low light shot and this is like seriously low light shot uh, anything below this is very bad but once you hit that bright light the things really change 720p looks like 1080p at very bright light well i give it for this phone that's it for today guys feel free to comment down below and please kill that like share and subscribe button and smash the bell icon for my next updates this is yoyash signing off